Good evening, Panther fans. I am Marquise Richwood, and today we have a Panther head coach, Reginald Samples. This year has been a great year so far, as you can see from our hardware we have in front of us. Um, welcome, Coach. Thank you for having me. All right. Uh, coach, you came to Duncanville last year to take over a team that had not had a winning season for several years. As a coach, what would you say were some of your top priorities coming into the program here at Duncanville? Well, the first priority was just to change the attitude about playing football. And I think the second priority was just to raise the level of working hard uh, in practice and on the field. Okay. So you have left sky, uh, Skyline after posting 19 state playoffs wins with two state semifinals appearances in 2011-2014. With that being said, what did you see in Duckyville that made you want to um, make the move across town? Well, I think the biggest thing about making the move was once I talked with uh, the uh, administration at Duncanville and I saw the facilities and the opportunities for me and my family to have more time uh, because of the, uh, the way the system was set up for practices and, and meeting time, uh, it was just a no-brainer for me. Uh, I felt like it was time for me to, to leave and I felt like Duncanville was the place to be. This year, during one of the most critical games of the season, you lost your starting quarterback, Jalen Nelson, to injury. At that point, most were saying the season was over. How has the team moved past this to now having a five-game winning streak? Well, first of all, it was very devastating to lose Jalen. He was such an important part of the team and such a good young man for Duncanville High School. But in moving past it, you know, we just talked about uh, life and how, you know, in life there are going to be times that you're going to face some devastating losses and things are not going to go your way. And when that happens, everyone else has to step up and do a better job to make up for that person that you lost. And, and they've done it. Coach, again, we are sitting between an area championship and a regional semifinal championship trophy. This is the first time in a long time that Duncanville has reached this point. What has been the key to your team being one of the Elite Eight left in the 6A UIL championship bracket? Well, I think a lot of it has to do with timing. Uh, we have actually started to play our best football at the right time. And, uh, you know, of course, the playoffs are the most critical time of the year. And everybody's bought into what we've tried to do. We're playing well, and we just hope to keep it going. This year has been a huge turning point for Duncanville football as we have seen fans pack the stands to watch games. What do you see in the future of this program? Getting better. Uh, I'm all about uh, pro progressions and getting better, and we're going to just keep working hard and staying positive. And, you know, our goal is to bring a state championship to Duncanville, and that's what we're going to work, and we're not going to stop until we get that done. All right, Coach, now let's move to the current situation in front of you and your team. This week, you will face number one Allen in the regional finals game. What have you done to prepare your team for this moment? Same thing we do every week. Uh, we, we have a system that we, we put forth. Uh, we don't change because of who we play. Uh, we believe the game depends on what we do, not what they do. Uh, you know, we know that they are an outstanding football team, but, but we believe that we are a good football team also. So we're going to try to not make mistakes and play our best football. And we think if we can do those two things, we have a chance to win. Coach, you are very familiar with this Allen system as you have played them before on the road to state with Skyline. How does this help you as a coach to prepare your team for getting the win? Well, it helps in the fact that we kind of know what they are about. They're very consistent. But it's still a new year, a new team, and a whole new game. So we're going to approach it that way, and we want different results this time. All right, and Coach, one final question. What would you say is the key to your team moving on to the state semifinals game a week from Saturday? First thing we got to do is take care of Allen this Saturday. We're looking one game at a time, and that's our focus right now, and we're just so happy to be here. But our goal is to beat Allen, and we don't want to look any further than Allen. Thank you, Coach, for taking the time out to be here with us. Good luck at your game this weekend. Thank you for having me, and let's go Panthers. 